friends, it's me, Kelsey, and I am here to talk to you about the exciting news about the Hunger Games casting news. As we know that Jennifer Lawrence has now been cast for the role of Katniss. I have to admit that when I first found out about this, my reaction was not the happiest. <laughs> She's not my Katniss. She's not my Katniss. Needless to say, I've calmed down a lot and really started to think about it more and more because I know so many of us wanted Haley Steinfeld to be Katniss because when you read the books and you think 15, 16 year old girl, you think Haley Steinfeld. You don't think very voluptuous and curvy Jennifer Lawrence. On that note, too many places that are against her are showing the same picture where she looks like she's 26. And then if you look at um, those other red carpet pictures, she's in like this swanky Jessica Rabbit red dress. She does not look that old in any of the other pictures. There's just one picture that she looks so old and the rest of them she looks very amiable and very young and not at all like she's this slutty 26 year old. So those of you that are using that picture are naughty because it is not a good depiction of her. As far as my reaction at first, I was really upset because as I read the books, I always imagined Katniss being very young, which is what she's supposed to look. She's not supposed to be beautiful. She's not supposed to look feminine. That was one of the biggest challenges for the character in the story is that she wasn't a girl. She was a hunter and that's why Gail understood her so well is because they had grown up together and had to survive and it wasn't about being pretty like in the in the District 1, it, in the capital, it was about survival. I mean she had to get her whole freaking body waxed when she gets to the capital just to prove that that was such an unimportant thing for her and I know when you look at pictures of Jennifer Lawrence you think this girl doesn't have a hair on her body except for on her head <laughs> and you know that's true but Hollywood is magical if there's anything I've learned from studying film is that on film you can do anything you can do anything you want a bad actor can seem like an amazing actor if you have a good director and an amazing actor can look like the worst actor in the entire world if you have a bad director a bad cinematographer all of those things and all these people have to work together to make a great movie and if the reason that Suzanne Collins approved this casting is because she saw how well Jennifer Lawrence acted then I have to surrender I have to I have to know that they're making the right choice also on the other hand the more I looked at this logically it makes sense to cast Jennifer Lawrence all the people that are arguing on the side of this is the next Harry Potter, this is the next Twilight, for both of those movies they cast young, they cast the correct age. Kristen Stewart was 16, or sorry, she was, Kristen Stewart was, oh my gosh, my cat just scared the crap out. Giles, for the Harry Potter films and the Twilight films, they cast young. Kristen Stewart was 17 when they started filming. All of the kids for Harry Potter were kids. They were 11 and 12 when Harry and all of those characters were 11 and 12 because they knew that these were the kids that were going to be in this franchise for the whole time. And they are saying that Hunger Games is the new franchise of young adult stuff. And I would agree because these books are incredible. Incredible. And I understand from a marketing standpoint why you'd pick Jennifer Lawrence over Haley Steinfeld. Jennifer Lawrence can appeal to everyone. She's, she is beautiful. And even when she's going to look all homely and grungy and she'll probably have to lose some weight for this role, she's still going to look good. Which is important because we are supposed to think that Katniss isn't ugly. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with thinking your main character is attractive. I mean, I hope that they play it down significantly because that's not the character, but I trust that they're going to do this film justice. So that was my big rant about the Hunger Games casting. I'm really excited and now we get to find out very quickly, I'm assuming, everything about Gail and Peeta and all the rest of the characters. Who are you guys excited to hear about next, uh, besides the main two boys, which I know everyone's excited about, but my fun random character that I'm really excited about is actually Haymitch. I cannot wait to see who they cast as Haymitch. On a side note, Alex Pettifer, better GTFO on my YA movies. If he gets cast in Hunger Games, I'm going to be so freaking upset because he can be in any other YA that he wants. I don't even care if he's in Mortal Instruments because he looks better as a Jace, but that's a whole nother video. <laughs> GTFO out of my Hunger Games, Alex Pettifer. 
No. Mm -mm. Those are my kitties. Hi, kitties. Okay, bye.